I wish I could turn back time. Mm -mm -mm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. Stealing smokes from your parents Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we ran from home Just to scare them we were free When we were 17 Good morning It is 8.12 um, So I didn't get up early like I'd hoped to but um, that's just because I didn't go to bed <laughs> um, about it was almost 12 and it was like 11 45 ish and I got in bed and I normally tick tock so I got my phone and it says iPhone disabled. I'm like, what? It said I had to wait like six minutes. And I'm like, what are you talking what? Journey had my phone. So she apparently had tried the passcode too many times and it locked up. So me being a smarty pants tried to restart the phone to see if that would help. And it reset the clock for 15 minutes. <laughs> so, I'm like, what? So I got online to see if there's a way to bypass that, which it's like, um, sign into iTunes, hook it up, sync it. I'm like, by the time I do all that, time will be up. And it was. So it finally turned back on around midnight. And I was like, well... I tick-tocked a little bit, me and Journey, she was still awake, um, and so we made a couple of funny, like, I put the little, where it gives you a funny looking face, and she cracked up about that, and that's funny, and then we did the old people one, and, um, she's like, I look like Papa, I look like Papa, so, if you saw those tick-tocks, <laughs> Um, and then I was like, well, I'll just watch my video that I'm going to post. So I started watching it <clears throat> and then I got really sleepy and then finally turned it off. So it was probably after one when I actually went to sleep. And so I got up about 730 and then I come back down here and... We still haven't gotten the um, the air fixed down here, all the heating and air. And so I turn the heat off at night, and so it gets really cold because we're in the basement, right? And Jordy and I have been sleeping in this bed because my back does not hurt sleeping in this bed. Upstairs, our bed is just too hard, and. I never attributed my back um, hurting like where it does from the bed. Never even thought about it. I just thought I'm getting old. <laughs> my back hurts. But it's from the bed. I know that now because sleeping in this bed, I don't have no issues. It was always my lower back that hurt, and so I don't have any issues. Now, I do get a backache occasionally from time to time. Like if I, um, the other day, it wasn't my back. It was more like my shoulder. And I think because I slept on my arm funny. But, you know. So I got up and it was still cold down here because we haven't gotten the air fixed. And he's called the guy a couple times. He would get back with us. Never got back with us. Called him again. Left him messages. He's going to call somebody else at this point. Because 
it's either hot, way too hot down here, or way too cold because the air, when you have the heater on, it will constantly run. It'll never, you know, shut off. So I usually keep an eye on it and turn it off when it gets like, you know, 74, 75. But at night, I just turn it off because otherwise we'll burn up. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm making a Jojo. I'm going to put this on and start up my other machine. And then I'm going to go up and take my medicine for my thyroid and drink a water. I usually like to drink water um, first thing in the morning. Normally, I only drink like probably half a bottle, enough to take my pill, you know what I mean. But I want to get into the habit of drinking a full bottle of water like right when I get up. So that way I have at least one bottle in me starting the day off. My goal is six bottles of water a day. I used to do that no problem. That's that's almost in a gallon of water if you drink six bottles. So my goal is six bottles. Um, I think as it is I probably drink about four. Um, it just depends. I might even drink more than six bottles in a day. And I do, I notice I pee more in the evening. And I think that's when I'm drinking the most water. So I'm going to try to, you know, space it throughout the day. Your body occasionally, occasionally, eventually adjusts to it. Because I can remember when I first started drinking it way back when. I was peeing, 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 peeing. And then it got to where I wasn't. So, but, alright, let's. So it is 9.44 right now. Y'all, I only drink that much water. <laughs> Need to drink more. Um, but Journey's still asleep down here. Which I'm surprised, but um, she tends to sleep longer down here because it's dark. So, um, I am cutting out another Jojo, see why I deactivated Jojo like last week. So these are like the last of my Jojos. Actually, I have quite a few to make, but um, I, ha I have her active right now because somebody wanted to buy her and they haven't. And this was last night and they haven't bought her. So I'm probably going to deactivate it here. I'll probably give them till like maybe noon. And then if they don't buy it, I'm just going to deactivate it. It's not worth it. Um, you know what I mean? So. And then. I'm going to continue to work. Sterling and her dad went to a pawn shop in Greenville. Apparently there's a drum machine or something there. That they wanted to go look at. He asked if I wanted to go, but I'm like, I'd rather just work and get this done since I'm already working because that's, you know, that's why I stay up so late and that's why because we go off and then when we get back, I, you know, straighten up the house, we do school work, we have lunch, we, you know, journey a bath, you know, life happens feed the animals and since this is downstairs I'm always like oh I'll go down tonight I'll get it done tonight and so yeah um, so I'm gonna continue to work I have eight that need to ship out tomorrow and we'll see how many I, I got one of them done yeah the one I did this morning is supposed to ship today so that one is done it is right here so this one is done. Um, this one is supposed to ship tomorrow, but if I get it done, it'll ship out today. I'll send all this with my husband when he goes to work. And then I finished another one. And yeah, so let me. Oh, what I was going to say is I'm going to put this on and then I think I'm going to go out and feed the animals real quick. I usually 
feed them by at least 10 o'clock, 11. So I'm going to go feed them. That's my chair. So it is 11.02 and Journey's still asleep. Like what? I don't know. I don't know. She might be really tired because she was, um, like, uh, I guess like uh, sleepwalking. <laughs> it was last night. Um, she had fallen asleep and all of a sudden she gets up and like, she's like going out of the bed and like putting her hands on the wall. I'm like, oh, what are you doing? So, and then she woke up at 7.30 and she wanted, um, she calls it her protein shake. I might've mentioned this before. I know I mentioned it before, but it's the Pediasure, um, the doctor put her on Pediasure because she was so small and like she wasn't gaining a lot of weight. So they wanted to make sure she's getting enough. So she's been kind of addicted to them. <laughs> so she likes to have those um, at night and then in the morning. Um, sometimes she'll ask for them during the day, but I'm like, you need to eat, you need to eat food. Um, it's not bad for her. It's got you know vitamins minerals all that stuff I just worry about the sugar that's in them because I don't want her teeth to get messed up which their appointment dentist appointments coming up in two weeks I think anyway I am working on shirt number I don't even know I'm working on Jojo um but Almost done, you guys. 11. I should already have this done. My water is. I'll finish this up. Set these up. Check on Jern. And then, I don't know. I might just continue to work until Sterling and my husband get home. So it is 12, 11. I'm working on my second water. journey is up I got up went upstairs changed her diaper you guys she did so good like a few days ago she peed in the potty um, like five times and then the next day it's just it's it's like I don't know I don't know how to put it like I've already potty trained countless other children. I say countless because, you know, growing up I helped uh, babysit my niece and nephews. Um, I, uh, trying to find a bag to put this in. I um, babysat other children as well and I helped potty train them. My friend Jessica, I used to watch her two kids, so anyway, you know, everybody has been like so, I won't say so easy, but it's like, it didn't take long to potty train Nathan. The only problem with Nathan is that he didn't want to go number two. Um, peeing was fine. He peed in the potty all the time, but when it came to go number two... He preferred to do that in his pants. So that was the problem with him. Evan, it was just like, Evan was just easy as could be. Like, he enjoyed peeing outside. So, um, and we live in Michigan. And, you know, there's a lot of outdoors there. And, you know, and my parents at the time, it has grown up now. But at the time was pretty secluded in the spot they were. So, um. And then, Sterling was just easy. It's just one day, she was like 18 months old. Her birthday was in February, and this was in the summer. Um, after her first birthday, she just peed in the potty one day. And it was like, after that, she was 
all excited and happy and proud to clean the potty. So um, by the time her second birthday rolled around, she was already completely potty trained. And she, the crazy thing of Sterling is like she's never wet to bed or had any accidents like that I can remember. I'm sure she probably had accidents, but I don't remember her ever peeing like her pants or anything like that. It's just now with Journey, um, like she will go potty and then we like in between the potty breaks or whatever even she will like just pee her pants and she won't say anything and then you ask her she's got to go pee and she's like no then you check and she's like wet i'm like you peed your pants yeah i heard that you know putting them in underwear helps because then they feel the wetness on them not with her it doesn't phase her one bit now she gets any wetness on her shirts though, it's all over. She's done stripped down in the middle of Walmart before taking her shirt off because she got something on it and it was wet. So we had to take her shirt off and put her coat on her and <laughs> she didn't have a shirt on. But I'm packaging order, so. Um, yeah, so anyway. Where was I going with this? Oh yeah. So we tried potty training and it didn't work. We're gonna try again. Um, I hope, I hope to not buy any more diapers. We still have quite a few diapers left. I didn't tell my husband, I'm like, if we can just get her potty trained by the end of the sleeve of the diapers that we're on right now, then, you know, we have the other sleeves we can sell. So anyway, we got up, changed her diaper. She ate yogurt. She didn't want anything else for breakfast. She's not a big breakfast eater. Um, I was like, do you want a banana? No. Do you want yogurt? Oh, no, it was a banana cereal bar. She was like, no, no. I'm like, do you want a yogurt? Yeah. She ate most of the yogurt too, so it's good. Anyway, I'm gonna finish packaging these up. And then hopefully my husband can take them and then I'll continue to work. I got a few more I wanna get done. Well, actually, there's a lot more I wanna get done, but we'll see how many. And then I'm thinking, if I get all the orders that, are need, that need to ship out tomorrow, then this afternoon, I'm just gonna take the evening off enjoy my my fella and my babies yeah alexa is it gonna snow it might snow today at 1 p.m <laughs> there's a 40 percent chance thanks alexa of course happy thursday Happy Thursday. Yeah, Sissy. That's you and Sissy? That's Jenny. That's Sissy. Wow. Okay, we need another sticker. Yeah, yeah. I need a sticker. Hmm. I got one. Okay, Thank hold on you. one second. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. So is your daddy's home. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Getting it done, aren't we? Almost done. Yeah. Do I got a sticker on my arm? Yeah. It'll make me feel all right. Mm -hmm. I think it's working. I feel all right. Ouch. 
Ready? Pepper, when you rip my skin off. Uh oh, somebody's home. Mommy, take a picture. Okay, we can't do that because last time you locked me out of my phone. Okay, last time. Mommy, take a picture. I do boo boo. Oh, I got a boo boo? Uh huh. I need to get a picture. Uh -huh. It's so a sticker. I bent you over here. How about this one? Hi. She said, I miss you. Sissy, she miss you. Mm -hmm. I miss you. Miss you. Uh, I miss you. I miss you. I see um, oh, you gave me the donuts. Yep, I brought you donuts. <laughs> That's so sweet. Hey guys, so it looks like this is the only scenery you guys get. <laughs> it is now 413. This is bottle number three. Um, I don't know if I'll finish. I mean, I'll probably have one at dinner and I'll probably have one after dinner. So I probably won't get six in. I mean... I say that, but you never know. Um, but I also drank some Gatorade earlier, so um, I am going to try to get a little more work done. I went upstairs, so my husband came home, he brought me a coffee. Ooh, that's hot. This is laying on my computer, it's hot. He brought me a coffee, and um, I really need to clean up down here. I always say that though. I mean, like, this table is a mess because I was packaging orders, so I got like everything. Um, he brought me a coffee, and then I got all my packages, you know, up, packaged up, and whatever. He took them to the post office for me, which is so sweet. He uh, works in town, so the post office isn't too far from where he works, so he can just, you know, drive there right before he goes to work uh, so um, usually I do all my packaging upstairs but since you know I was down here and still working on stuff I just brought I usually will bring just some mailers down I print off all the labels and then package them up tomorrow I will have to go to Hobby Lobby right is that right yeah I have to get some more skin colored fabric because I don't, normally I have yards of it and this is all I can find right now. <sighs> I have this one I have to make a ribbon trim for. So I think I might work on that and have a couple stitch out while I do that. Normally I don't like to do um, ribbon trims and embroider just because I feel like when I am embroidering um, like it takes up a lot of my my focus so when you know the machines are going on um, if a thread breaks or I gotta lay down fabric and stuff I, it takes up you know I'm over there doing that and then you know it's like I come back and sew like two feet and something else might happen. Oh, I found a little more. Um, so it's, you know, it takes up a lot of my, I say focus. Because um, I'm more focused on my machines with that constant running than I am working on ribbon trims. So I try not to do that and try to just put either my focus on embroidering out stuff or my focus on making ribbon trims. So, um, right now, I'm trying to straighten up my table. This is where I do all my packaging and when I, um, you know, you know, you know, you know. I've got lots of stray fabrics here. I'm just going to throw them in my pile back there. I've got some vinyl. 
I got a big scrap bin of vinyl. That's where I usually get from, like when I'm embroidering out an order. When I need that particular vinyl, I dig in my scrap pile to see if I have it. And if I don't, then I cut a new piece. But it's full. Journey must be doing something. Oh, I did edit a vlog, so that's good. I edited a vlog, then I took a shower. I did put a little makeup on. Can you guys see my eyes? Because I bought that new eye um, eyeshadow palette, and so I haven't worn makeup in a few days. And I took a shower. I got this new shampoo. It smelled amazing. I don't know if I necessarily, I mean, my hair looks shiny, right? But you know how when you wash your hair, you can just, you know, feel a difference? Like, I have to use a shampoo that is like, um, nothing that has like oil or oily. Um, usually anything that says, you know, avocado oil or argan oil or anything like that, I try to stay away from because, um, it feels like at least like my hair coated, um, probably about 75% of the time I don't use a conditioner I usually just wash my hair and and when I do condition I usually just condition the bat this this part I usually take the conditioner and just do it like this that way it's not getting up here but my hair I don't know it smells really good though it just feels like there's something you know what I mean it feels like there's something in it like it hadn't gotten rinsed out and I rinsed my hair really good so I don't know but anyway so since I had new shampoo and I was doing that I was like mmm let me put on a little bit of uh, shadow I decided to go with this because I never wear this color it's like purples like I got punched in the eye no <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. They're like, they look different, look kind of pink, but there were some purples, but I'm like, I'm not going nowhere. I can look like I got punched in the eye, it's fine. <sighs> and then I fed, made lunch, fed the girls. I um, filled up a million Flynn's um, dish with some alfalfa for them. Um, and then filled up Otis's with dry food and Sterling fell down she was walking out there and she fell down <laughs> it was funny because it kind of happened in slow motion her ankle just got twisted when she was walking but she's perfectly fine um and then journey came out and then got her shoes all dirty and and here she comes now fussing she probably did something bad Jern. Jern, what's wrong? I can probably want it in my baby. Mm. What? I don't have any water. What's wrong? I don't have water. I don't have any water. You don't have some water? No, in here. Is that what's wrong? Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I want to be. Who would you spray? Sissy. Oh, we can't spray Sissy. God was me to make us. I do have the water in here. Is she mean to you? Mm -hmm. Why is she mean to you? I do have water in there. She's mean to you because she didn't put water in here. So mm -hmm. you want to spray her? Mm -hmm. well, you can, well, you can't spray the squirt gun in the house. It's in his bay outside. Well, it's really cold outside. Alexa, what's the temperature? <laughs> right now, it's 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 40 Tonight, degrees. Expect a low of 26 Look, degrees. He got Is there glitter on that? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Hey. Hey. What? Guess what?
차라. So I just made this. This is actually for a viewer. This is for Leslie. Um, I messaged her, but I don't think she's checking her messages. Leslie, check your messages. <laughs> um, she probably already has by the time you guys are seeing this. But I went ahead and made this. Um, she ordered a six to nine months, and you guys know I've been having a hard time finding six to nine month onesies. Um, so I made it on a nine month. In my opinion, I think the nine month is a better suit for like a six to nine months. To me, in my opinion, when um, journey was you know smaller, I prefer the nine month size over a six to nine month. Over the six to nine month, when I hold our six to nine month, six to twelve month onesies, um, the Carter's ones, when I hold them. I don't think I was gonna say I might have a long sleeve one, but I don't think I do. When I hold them up to a size 12 month onesie, it's almost the exact same size. So, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. So, the nine month I think would fit better if you were aiming towards that size. I messaged her to see if this size is alright. Um, I haven't heard back. I just went ahead and made it. I'm gonna make the tutu in the morning. Actually, not in the morning, in the afternoon. And this one comes with a little flower clip, and I believe I have those in this closet, so I'm going to have to get those out. So I'm going to um, make the tutu tomorrow, and I'm not going to, I'm going to include the flower clip because that's what it came with. But I am going to make a hair bow to match it, and then um, I might actually make an additional tutu. This one comes with like a pink tutu. And I might make an additional tutu with some, you know, Eastery colors and then take a picture of it with that to add to my shop. And then, um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, you know, brainstorming, brainstorming. I was like thinking, because I got more stuff here. If I would have known, like, the baby's name, I'd make another onesie for her her baby or her it's I think it's her niece just because I don't have anybody to make them for and I'd rather them go to like a viewer than to you know what I mean but I normally don't have a lot of time to create stuff anyway I only do tonight because the next one on my list I have to make this ribbon trim right here so I'm gonna do that here in a few minutes but the next one on my list is a 12 month um, onesie and I don't have any 12 month onesies do you guys believe it so I'm gonna have to go pick some up tomorrow and yeah that's, that's about all that's going on I'm thinking it's 10 o'clock right now I want to go to bed about 11 I'm gonna see if I can hurry up and get this ribbon trim done but I'm thinking like I'm I don't know I'm just thinking I'm drinking another water that will be my number six but then I'll be up pee in half the night. But I am kind of thirsty. So, <laughs> anyway. Let me get this ribbon trim done. Hey guys, so it is now 11.41. I am, I don't need to package that one up. I'm packaging up orders right now. Um, I didn't work on the ribbon trim. Instead, I made, um... I had a customer have an issue with one of their items, and so I um, offered to replace it, or they could have a what in the world? It's all over. A sample made, and they said they'd just take a sample. So I made the sample. I gotta go get pictures of it. And I am packaging up this. I told my husband, I was like, <sighs> I'm just going to make the ribbon trim tomorrow afternoon and then take it to the post office um, because I also have to do the I hate it when my phone does that. Like, 
It just says notification. What notification? Didn't say nothing. Anyway, um, the one I need the onesie for, uh, I'll have to go buy that. I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to order right now on Target website and then go pick it up tomorrow. We're going to go to Dream Deals. It's $6 a day. Y'all know what's in Dream Deals. Um, but it's $6 a day. My husband, he's like, I thought you weren't doing those ones anymore. I was like, I'm not. Those are like from, you know. Uh, that one is actually from almost three weeks ago because I have a three week turnaround time on ribbon trim sets just because number one, they take a lot longer than just to embroider out a shirt. Yeah. So basically today's vlog all took place in this room. You guys just kind of worked with me throughout the day. so. <laughs> Um, but I did get quite a few done and I really liked, I told my husband, I was like, I really like the idea of getting up and the first thing doing is working and, you know, getting a few orders off my plate and then, um, see, eventually I want to get all my work done in the morning afternoon like you know when my husband's at work and then when he gets done with work or you know around let's say five o'clock stop working and package everything up or stop working cook dinner and then you know package everything up and then spend the evening with them so i was going to do that tonight but he was going through a bunch of stuff so I just let him do his thing. He was going through a lot of his stuff from high school, which is kind of funny because he found like papers that he had from school. I'm like, how do you still have this? This is crazy. He's like, I have no idea. Um, there was like something from from algebra. He was like, oh, I failed that one. Um, but and oh, and then we found like the little. It was like back in the 80s, 90s, where you could um, lick and stick like the where the VHS tapes like you wanted. You peel, you peel the little one off and stick it on the page, and it's like 99 cents. And then after that, you have to. It's almost like BMG, but it was like with movies. And so we kept it. It's upstairs. I was like, keep that because we're gonna show that on our live, which I hope to go live on Saturday. So. Um, I want to do a giveaway again, but I don't know what to give away. Maybe I'll find something fun tomorrow and I can give away. Maybe we'll come up with something. Last time it cost me 40 something dollars to ship everything, so. Which, it's not that, I mean, there was a lot of winners. And there's still some, y'all, they're static. These, these things are just sticking. Anyway fix you. I'm just going to move you over there. But there is, um, there is, I, I don't remember. I'll probably announce it on the live of uh, whose addresses I still need because I still have them packaged up. So I made the ones I made earlier, then I made one, two, I already had this one done. Three, four, five, six, seven. So I made seven on top of what I already did uh, this morning that already went out. So, and I don't remember how many that was, but good job. Anyway, this is number six, which I haven't finished because I'll probably have to pee 15 million times, but five bottles of water, not bad. Tomorrow I'll do better. We'll go for six. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my other channel, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.